Hi guys, it's Justine, but you can call me Blondie. Welcome back to Face Fridays on my channel. I have a little bit of a cold today, so that's my, my, why my voice um, <clears throat> sounds a little hoarse. But today I'm going to be trying out the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. This has been around for a while, and a lot of people say that it's a dupe for the Tasha Primer. And I've seen a lot of mixed reviews about it, but I thought I would try it out for myself. It retails for $8, and the directions say to apply a thin, even amount to moisturize skin prior to makeup application. Um, allow to set for, oh, 30 seconds. I thought I was going to say 30 minutes. For 30 seconds before applying foundation. I was like, hell no, I'm not going to wait 30 minutes, um, but it's just 30 seconds. So, here is, well, first off, here's what the actual packaging looks like. It is... How many ounces is this? 0.74 ounces or 21 grams. And this is the, it says universal sheer, but I'm pretty sure this is the only color that e.l.f. has of this primer. Maybe they have to say sheer because it does look kind of beige in the, in the pan, but I'm going to, ooh. Okay, so it's like a very creamy texture. I thought it was gonna be more of like a, um. I don't know. I think I was thinking it was going to be more like a clay, like a lot thicker than this, but it's actually kind of like a moisture, like a thick moisturizer texture. So I'm just going to put a little all over the face. I kind of rubbed it in to my hands just to make it more smooth. It does smell really good. It smells like um like a moisturizer. You know, I was kind of worried before I started this that this wasn't going to be good for dry skin because I have very dry skin. Since it's called the Putty Primer, I was kind of expecting it to be more like a clay texture and I thought maybe it wouldn't be for dry skin. But now that I'm using it and I see that it's like more like a thick moisturizer type of texture, um, I'm actually pleasantly surprised because I thought it was going to be... Um, because it, I think this is going to be like perfect for dry skin actually and it feels really good it feels like just really thick and really smooth um you definitely it's not like amazingly moisturizing like some primers are but it is definitely more moisturizing than i was expecting i can see why they want you to put a, a moisturizer on first though so and already i feel like it kind of smoothed out like my fingerprints on my hands like they just look like I don't know like filled in I guess and so I'm assuming that um, it's going to help fill in my pores which I don't have a like huge huge pores to begin with I occasionally get like big pores right here um, but that's not like a main concern for me mostly my main concern is a uh, dry skin and keeping my skin hydrated um, so my foundation doesn't look super dry and cakey so now I'm just going to put on some foundation and concealer just to see how it applies. Um, I'm using the Urban Decay Stay Naked um, foundation and the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer because these are just what I've been using lately um, and I know how they work on my skin normally. So I figured they'd be good products to test a primer out with. And again, I'm going to get close to the camera. Just so we can see how... It's applying. So I think it's definitely giving my foundation kind of a dewy look to it, which is what I like. Um, I don't like my foundation to be dewy in itself because sometimes that can get really uncomfortable, but, um, so that's why I like this foundation in particular because it does dry down matte, but it's not too matte, I guess, where my face is going to look really like dry and cakey, like I said earlier. But um, this primer is actually giving it like a dewy look without it feeling like heavy and dewy and sticky on my skin.
actually really pleasantly surprised. Like I said, I kind of expected this to be more like a clay texture and kind of make my makeup look cakey, but I actually really love the way my makeup looks right now. It looks really dewy and um, like my skin, it just makes my skin overall look like really healthy and glowy and hydrated, which is like my biggest um, concern when it comes to like skincare and foundation and stuff. So yeah, I think that is it for this quick little um, review slash first impressions of the Tatcha primer. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my makeup. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's not like a wear test or anything, but like I said in the past is I don't really touch up my makeup throughout the day or even pay attention to my makeup throughout the day. I just kind of throw it on and leave it be. Um, so that's why I don't typically do wear tests. But I hope you guys enjoyed this little first impressions of the e.l.f. Putty Primer. I think, have I been calling it the Tatcha Primer? I might have said Tatcha a few times just because the, the Tatcha has been on my mind since it's supposedly a dupe for the Tatcha Primer. I personally have never tried the Tatcha Primer. It's a bit out of my budget. It's like, I think 50 something dollars for like the smaller size. Actually, let me Google it real quick. Oh no, the small size is $22 and then the full size is $52. So still a lot for a primer. Like I said, um, I can't give a good comparison on if it's a dupe or not because yeah, that's just way out of my budget for a primer. But this e.l.f. one is $8 and definitely worth the $8. Um, if you have dry skin, I definitely recommend it. Um, it like it, it says on the directions to use a... Um, moisturizer underneath it and definitely do that because even though it's hydrating it's not like super hydrating so you definitely want to double up with a moisturizer when you use it and yeah that's it i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you in the next one bye guys